Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Patriots and the Ravens, and it's coming up next. GA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the home of the Ravens. Sold out M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game. And we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now it's Jackson. Escapes the defender, and there he goes again. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry. 27 yards, and the Ravens are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the former Tar Heel. Team advanced. For them to continue on to the championship round, though, he's going to need to take a few more chances with the ball downfield push it a little bit more, and make sure his team finds its way into the end zone a few more times. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way out there, but it'll be third down. As you see, they have dealt with their fair share of injuries this season, but uh, Charles, that hasn't stopped them from putting together a very solid campaign, a very good record thus far. I think a lot of credit has to go internally. Like we always want to praise the head coach for holding the team together. But to me, it's the guys in the locker room putting on the uniform. Those starters who've stayed healthy, they've welcomed the backups into their ranks and showed them how to get it done. And this team, they've stayed afloat all season doing just that. He's got Hooper on the short connection. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Throwing here is May. And that is incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. In the wild card win last week, he had just two catches, and now he's got his first one here. They'll run for the first time with Antonio Gibson. 
And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Now a second and two. They'll go again with Gibson. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. On third down, here's Gibson. And Gibson looking for some kind of opening, but he has none. They rally up to stop him short of the marker. They're going on fourth down. May flushed out right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Drake May taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Sheds off the tackle. And he's going to be stopped cold. Good coverage there by the kick team to bring that return to an abrupt halt. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Here's second and seven now from the 28. As they've got it as we resume action. Play action. It's Jackson. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Marcus Jones. Credit him with a sack. And it goes as a loss of six. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Look at the spin. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Stevenson now on first and 10. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. We're gonna throw May. And this one's incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Being chased out left. Wide open receiver complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. 24-yard touchdown, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well, and by association, a bright future for the franchise too.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Off the option, here's Henry. Evades the tackler, and now some space. He's still on his feet. Inside the 10, and all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On play action, May. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. To throw, it's May. That's complete to Baker. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And bulldozing his way through. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying feet. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. To the air, May. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll throw with May. And he's going to go down sack they push him back to the 34 now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half this offense converted once on fourth down earlier now they're out there again to try once more and it's 
it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's across midfield. Down the right sideline. And all the way in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Derrick Henry on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And they'll have a little bit of time to work with, 35 seconds until the break. He'll look to throw. Touchdown! Jalen Polk as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Jalen Polk as time expires in the first half. And the Patriots will extend their lead on the final play of the half. So the numbers are starting to pile up here early on. We have yet to reach halftime, yet that is already now four touchdown passes. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Patriots got a solid first half from their quarterback, Drake May. 
Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive and advance to next weekend's AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Patriots offense and Drake May headed back onto the field. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for New England. 41 yards. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now back to throw. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's a second and seven. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Here's Gibson to start the drive. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. They'll look to throw. That one caught by Polk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go play action now. May. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this one is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Now the second has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. From the gun on third down is May. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Baltimore. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this returnable for Hill, shedding the tackle. And he'll take a shot at the... New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And now first downs are key. They want to keep that clock moving up by two scores as they try to cement their place in the conference championship round in one week's time. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Back to throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Baker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? He'll get this to Baker. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Stevenson is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Gibson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This to make it a three-score game late. Sly able to put this one through. And that... Patriots, as they so often do, moving on to the playoffs. As we say so long, everybody. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.